What's up, YouTube? Ingro the Cruel, and uh, as promised, and as requested, more importantly, here's how I play World of Warcraft with a DualShock 4, otherwise known as the PlayStation 4 controller. There's a slight disclaimer. I'm not using any major user interface changes. Uh, just using the base UI so you guys have a familiar uh, thing to, you know, to understand what I'm doing when I do it. Um, and so not only is there the DualShock 4 controller, there's a program and it's called Joytiki and it's on screen. It maps all your buttons and if, just to make things easier, this is the newest version 5.9. Uh, anytime that you press a button or move an analog stick, it'll light up on your screen. So if you have any problems mapping anything or you want to change anything up, feel free to go ahead. Uh, you can also get this uh, get this on the internet. Just Google Joytiki. Uh, just as it is at the top, no spaces, Georgia key. Um, this was made with version 5.9, and at the end of the video, or actually in the comments or in the details, whatever, whatever the hell it's called, at the bottom of the video, I'm going to have a download link from uh, Dropbox with my setup for World of Warcraft so you can try it out. So let's jump right in and break down what I do uh, with my buttons here. So let's start with base movement. The left analog stick is like... Q E W S. So, you know, like any typical first person shooter, zoom in the camera just a bit because the goblin's already small. Uh, I'm playing the goblin rogue. Uh, if you, you probably already knew that. So, let's do some donuts. Um, right analog stick is my mouse. Simple, you know. You can see it's moving around. I've got mine set to 70 in Georgia key. For the um, threshold or for the sensitivity so you you know you may not like that you can go in there and change it it's really easy to do um, if you push the right analog stick in that's jump because there's there's no point I mean unless you like to be still really still I don't want to play with the controller my the only time my thumb comes off of this button is to press buttons and I like to jump a lot so I figured this was the best place for it uh, under the left analog stick, uh, stick is tab. So, and I normally don't push it with my right hand, so that's making me move a little bit. Uh, but that's tab targeting. So, you know, you could see I'm pretty, I'm pretty flush with it here. Uh, and the way I like to consider tab targeting in this game is where the nose of your character is, or or your crotch, <laughs> uh, wherever your pelvis is aiming, is where you're going to be where you're going to be targeting first. So, you know, you turn around, you go back. If I wasn't already targeted on that, it would have targeted that one. So just to show you again. Uh-oh, somebody's doing the uh, mage. <laughs> the mage uh, legendary weapon. We'll go check that out here in a second. Um, so that's the, that's the analog sticks. Now the buttons, the face buttons. Um, one is X. Two is three. Uh, two is square. Three is triangle. Circle is four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't have a five. I used to have a five here on my L trigger. So it really doesn't matter. But, um, I keep rupture here so people don't think I'm crazy. But I'll show you where my rupture is later. <laughs> uh, six is R trigger. And I'll explain what L does in a minute as well. Seven is left on the D-pad. Yes, that's a kickball. Uh... 8 is right on the D-pad. I usually map that for uh, trinkets, things of that nature. Uh, 9 is the share button. Options is start. Hyphen. PlayStation button. And then finally the last button. This big sum bitch here. Touchpad. So that's 1 through 12. One, two, three, four, no five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. With me so far? All right. So, the mouse, left click, is L1. This button takes a beating. It's used all the time. R1 is right click. And as you know, you got to right click on a lot of things to use it. So, to move around, Again, we, the camera is the right 
analog stick, or the mouse is the right analog stick. You hold it in, you, uh, you hold in R1, and you move the right analog stick. Guess what? You got a camera. Oh my god. So you run around like you're playing a third person shooter or a third person hack and slash or something. This is the best third person game you'll ever play. I'm playing my own version of Assassin's Creed as a goblin or, or whatever that one on uh, sticks or whatever that second rate goblin rogue is. He'll kill me in the game now that I said that. Um, so that's movement. Now, I haven't explained what the L trigger does. Um, this is control and I have buttons on the top of my keyboard here this is your this in World of Warcraft these are called your bottom left and bottom right tabs um, so to access these I hold the L trigger in and I press the face buttons again and I map them all differently you can change them in the joy key however you want but here's one there's two there's three which is invincible there's four which is shadow step here is five for me. Again, you can change these. And here's six, which I normally have that really awesome Argus ability map to it. And then here's the other one, uh, which is, I, this is my random mount button. Let me get out of combat for a second. I got Grove Warden, or I got Shadow Blades Murderous Raven, or I got Invincible. So you see, it's, it's all mapped. So this is control. It used to be five. That's control. You can understand why it would be. All right. Now, you're probably wondering what the up and down of the D-pad does. And you're probably wondering, there's more moves than what you have on your screen. Yes, there is. Um, up and down changes tabs. And the way I like to consider things, defensives and movement speed and utility kind of stuff is all mapped on the tab below one which is four because I, again I only have the bottom left and bottom right tabs enabled on screen so that everything else is going to be mapped here on your your change uh, pages your next page is what they call it so down on the d-pad moves me to movements and utility like I've got defensives and other things here you know I've got bandage health uh, health stone so whenever you change tabs the face buttons are still the same so like right on the D-pad would, would still be 8. Now here it's still 8. So you see health stone lighting up. Or here's the goblin racial. Or here's sprint. Or here's fan of knives. Or here's evasion. Or rejuvenation potion. Or stealth, which I like to keep on 9 pretty much anywhere. You need to be able to stealth ASAP if you're in PvP. Um, you go up a tab, here's tricks of the trade. And here's rupture. For whatever reason, muscle memory is not letting me move that thing from up to. So I'm a rupture on this thing. Here's vanish. Here's blind. Here's that really cool toy that reduces your falling speed for just a second. Uh, I can't do it while moving. Yeah, I need to jump off something. Screw you, priests. Here's faint again. There's some buttons I've had there forever. Here's my pre-pot. I'm not going to drink one for this video. Here's the detection. Stealth. Cloak of Shadows, again, I like it to be accessible too. PvP trinkets down here. So, again, it's all about how you want to do it. I'm just I'm just showing you the door, friends. Uh, so that's how you get around. Now, in order for this to work, though, in order for the change tabs to work, you need to be able to go into your World of Warcraft settings and, and change a few things. So here's some key bindings. And as promised, uh, I'm going to give you the download uh, to my Georgia key key mapping uh, I'm going to have a Dropbox link in the video, so just read the description. Uh, but multi-action bar, you have to have that enabled for the, the L trigger to be control. So control 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, just map the bottom left to 1, control 2. You have to actually bind this just like you would. You have to um, click on the actual key binding and hold two buttons to get it to work. So, hold control, hit one on bottom left action. You don't have to do this, but it's it's pretty handy if you do it. Uh, so that's control one, two, three, four, and whatever you want to do for the rest. It really doesn't matter, but mine is mapped to do um, these. So if you want to take a second, pause the video here and map them just like this, that's fine. Uh, the rest, starting from eight to 12, is the same. So that's control one, two, three, four, 
then the hyphen equal, and then the zero, which is uh, the start button for the controller. Anywho, uh, the next thing you need to do is go to your action bar and set previous action to F5 and next action to F6. I'm not entirely sure what these were at base, so you want to just do it like this because in Georgia Key, I have this set up to map those buttons. So if you look, I'll go down here to where they are. Let's see where is the up and down buttons. See, POV up, down, up, down. You can see Georgia Key lighting up when I do it. And here's 7, 8. So, that being said, feel free to post any questions. Uh, and the last thing that you need to know is in the in the actual folder itself is where you're going to install this. So wherever you end up installing Joyty Key is where you need to put this WoW.cfg that I'm going to have for download. Uh, so for mine, it's on this PC download Joyty Key in Joyty Key in. Just drag it in there, and then when Joyty Key opens, uh, it should work. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Uh, good luck downloading this. Just Google Joyty Key. No spaces between the words Joyty Key. And um, yeah, have fun. This is a this will open your mind. You're gonna need a lot of muscle memory. And uh, I connect the PlayStation controller with a uh, micro USB because that's what it takes. Um, you can go through Bluetooth as well, but it's a pain in the butt. But you have to put it into sync mode. To put it into sync mode, you hold the PlayStation button and the Options button until it starts lighting up, or maybe the Share button. I'm not sure. But you hold it a long time and still starts blinking. Check your Bluetooth. Uh, and see if you can add a device and if it works it works if it doesn't I'm sorry it's a pain in the butt to get it to work but I'm more than happy to help just post in the comments what your problems are um, you guys enjoy the rest of your day feel free to subscribe and I'm gonna have more videos of me playing with other types of controllers I'm gonna be streaming with a Guitar Hero controller or I'm uh, sorry a rock band controller uh, later this week so have fun everyone I hope you enjoy it feel free to subscribe and uh, this is Eager the Cruel have a great day